Hello everyone and welcome back to Programming with Dan. Today I want to talk to you about the best programming languages for web development. I decided to explain this topic in two different videos because nowadays there are so many programming languages for backend, there are so many frameworks and libraries for frontend and actually each of them needs a separate video. In this video, I want to share with you 5 most trendiest and popular backend programming languages and the next video will be dedicated to frontend technologies. My list of best programming languages for backend is based on 5 factors. The popularity of the language, the salary number for each particular programming language, the interest rate in the past few years, and the community size, the online documents and tutorials for each language. The last most programming language for web development in my list is PHP. This is the widely used language that was created more than a decade ago and now powers over 200 million websites worldwide. If you've ever built a website using builders like WordPress or Joomla, you've already relied on the power of PHP. A Stack Overflow 2018 survey shows that it's being used by 30.7% of developers. However, if we look at interest rate of PHP over the past few years, it has definitely declined. And according to Payscale, the average salary number for a PHP developer is about $63,000 per year. As you can see on this diagram, which is provided by Toby, community size of PHP has decreased over the past few years. I think that's because recently very few number of startups have been willing to go with PHP, while there are more productive, faster options. In the web development space, PHP is still very popular. Despite its limitation as a language and the availability of better alternatives, PHP is still used by many large companies, such as Facebook and Wikipedia. The most famous web framework for PHP is Laravel, which is utilized by many big and small companies. The fourth language in the list is C Sharp. C Sharp is a general purpose programming language developed by Microsoft. C Sharp is widely used for backend programming and it has been around for many years. Microsoft has been aggressively adding new features and capabilities to C Sharp. By publishing .NET Core, which is an open source framework using C Sharp, Microsoft could back to competition again. 34% of professional developers that took Stack Overflow's 2018 survey are fans of C Sharp. While interest rate of this language slightly declined over the past few years. The annual salary of a mid-level .NET developer is about $68,000, which is a little bit higher than a PHP developer. The community side of this language experienced a lot of up and downs, and you can see it's still lower than some other competitors. MSN and Salesforce are some of the companies have selected C Sharp as their main programming language. And the newest web framework based on C Sharp is ASP.NET Core, which could gain a lot of popularity recently. Java is another popular choice in large organizations and it has remained so for decades. Java is widely used for building enterprise-scale web applications, and it's known to be extremely stable. If you are looking for a development-based job at a large organization, Java is the language that you should learn. Java is also widely used for big data analytics, machine learning, or artificial intelligence. Another amazing use of Java is writing native Android applications. With large market share of Android, this is one of the main incentives for many developers to learn Java. Java is a programming language that 45.3% of professional developers use it for their projects. However, as you can see on Google Trends, it lost a portion of its popularity in the past few years. The good point is that a mid-level Java developer salary is about $74,000 which is more than two other languages we talked about so far. As I said, Java has been around for many years and its community size is much larger than other rivals. As a subset of C programming language, 
Java has performed very well and this might be the reason why highly traffic websites like Alibaba and LinkedIn use Java. Java web developers normally favor Spring over other Java web frameworks and Python. When it comes to growth rate of a programming language, Python is the first in line, which is why it's placed as second best programming language for web development. Python has a solid claim to being the fast growing major programming language. According to a Stack Overflow survey, Python is popular with 38.8% of professional developers. And despite all other languages, Python interest rate has decreased dramatically over the past few years. The average salary for a Python developer is about $77,000 per year, and its job market is so hot. Unlike all other programming languages in the list, the community size of Python shows a great jump in the past year, which is a sign of bright future for this language. Python is widely accepted as the best programming language to learn first. Python is fast, easy to learn, and easy to use programming language that is being widely used to develop scalable web applications. For example, YouTube and Instagram are built in Python. Aligned with Java, Python is largely used for big data analytics, machine learning, and AI. And for web development, Django is the most popular choice among developers. And the first place goes to JavaScript. It's undoubtedly the dominant language of the web. And the growth of JavaScript over the past decade has been amazing. JavaScript is everywhere. On the client side, you can use front-end JavaScript frameworks such as Angular and React to build browser-based web applications. Outside of the browser, Node.js lets you write your backend applications in the same language you use to write your client code. A key factor for choosing JavaScript over all other languages is its widespread support across the software industry, including major efforts by Google, Facebook, Microsoft, and Amazon. However, its interest rate is slightly decreased in the past couple of years. According to Payscale, a mid-level JavaScript developer salary is about $70,000 per year. But I believe because a JavaScript programmer can take so many responsibilities, this figure can increase dramatically. JavaScript is a versatile programming language and has so many documents and tutorials. This diagram is displaying the community size just for pure JavaScript, whereas normally frameworks and libraries based on JavaScript are used in the projects. And community size of them is much, much bigger than pure JavaScript. To name a few of big companies that use JavaScript on their platform, I can point to Microsoft, PayPal, and Netflix. And there are so many libraries based on JavaScript, such as React, Angular, and Node.js to help developers build all kinds of applications. I hope you enjoyed this video. The next video is about front-end technologies. If you like this video, please give it a like and don't forget to hit the subscription button down there to get notified of the next videos. We'll see you later.